Um, but for anybody who has just joined the ClickStop family, um, just go ahead and let me know how many years you've been here and what your job title is and maybe some of the responsibilities. Yeah, so I'm Sean Waters. I've been on the, uh, or with ClickStop for six years. Um, most of that time, I would say the last five years, I've been on the CAT team. Um, so doing sales and service on the CAT team. Everything from JPB and Space Savers to now Pepper Joe's and Ecofoil and fasteners. So it's been, yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, there was a little bit of a transition there where we were uh, kind of low uh, with sales associates. And so um, they just kind of reached out and asked if I could help uh, with calls, um, just customer service side sales service. It was kind of fun. I mean, just jumping back in, you know, when you haven't done it for four years and you get those calls again about ratchet straps and just custom parts and it, everything. I mean, everything has changed. The products very much the same, but just the uh, processes and um, we, we've came a long, we've come a long way since from where it was four years ago. So I don't know. It was it was a it was a fun experience doing that. But I'm glad to be back to my cat team and fully focused on growing sales there. So. Yeah, I would say that there's probably a comfortability with you being in, in the accelerator team. So that definitely works. But everyone I talk to, it just not to use the word, but you were very impactful in your approach to come and help USCC and you made a huge difference. And I know a lot of people are extremely grateful for that. I know that you play hockey. And, yes, when sir. I, and that's another word of impactful because I guarantee you're banging some of those guys into those boards. <laughs> Talk a yeah. little bit about uh, your experience with hockey right now, because I think you you play, but you also coach, don't you? Uh, I did coach my uh, both my kids. Uh, they only they didn't enjoy it as much as I do, so they only <laughs> hung out for about a year. But I am uh, I do play, and I also referee. So I referee uh, Mondays and Sundays, and I do the adult leagues, and it's it's a fun gig. I get yelled at all day, and then I get to go take out my aggression and play. So it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the best of both worlds because you experience the 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 players getting angry at a at a bad a bad call. Yeah, but you can take it out later. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No. It's it it's definitely it's I enjoy it. It's something you know I get to hang out with different groups of people um, from all walks of life. I mean, there's a guy on my team who's a a surgeon, and watching him getting in a fight and like <laughs> battle with like somebody who's like a construction worker. It's like and you guys are crazy. We got to go to work on Monday. Like, what's going on out here? So it's, <laughs> it's so. Fun. So, do you have all your teeth? Uh yeah. So Those are all real. They are. My yeah. My mom was. Uh, she's still not too happy that I don't wear a cage or mask. She's like, you know, we paid however much money in braces and ortho and all that stuff. I'm like, well, now I get to pay for it. So, hey, um, how old are are the two kiddos? Yep. So Violet's in seventh grade, Keegan's in eighth grade. Um, so 13 and 14. Yeah. yeah. Just about to get to high school. Yes. It's great fun. <laughs> oh, don't lie to me. I don't have any kids. I know. It's, but... it's rough. It's tough. <laughs> they're, they're so much fun though. They're, they're such great people and different. I mean, I, I see so much of myself in them. I mean, they, they love to have fun. They've got a great group of friends. They are, you know, they just, border on that line of getting in trouble but then you know it's uh <laughs> they, they don't get in trouble so <laughs> i mean that that is a part of growing up i mean and speaking of growing up you grew up in california right isn't that yeah. where you came from from california yep, yep. i was born and raised in orange county so um and then when i think alan was finally the, the final one that kind of talked me into moving out to iowa and got me out here and it's been amazing it's such a different life experience. The yeah. people out here are so much more happy, peaceful, <laughs> willing really? to just like not run you off the road when you, <laughs> I don't know. No, <laughs> I, in Iowa. I get it. Disclaimer, I was great. Just saying. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I never understood like you're from Southern California, but you're a Notre Dame fan. Like, what, what, how did you become a Notre Dame fan? Same reason my kids will be. I mean, just because of my... <laughs> My diehard love for them. Uh, as I grew up, my dad also would yell at the TV. There was a, there may or may not have been a couple ex experiences of him throwing a TV off of the TV stand. So it was like, you either are a Notre Dame fan or you don't live here kind of thing. And 
you have quite a bit of family within the branches of ClickStop's tree. Um, can you talk a little bit about like all the family members? Because let's be honest, the reason yes. why it not only came to Iowa was your family, but I, I think that's yeah. probably the reason why it came to ClickStop, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it was uh, one of those things where uh, my cousin Nicole had tried talking me into working for this web company like 12 years ago and I thought she was just nuts I'm like internet like that's not gonna last that's not gonna work yeah <laughs> think, whoa whoa uh, hit my desk. um but then uh I, I mean I was managing Home Depot I was I was making good money and you know she would tell me like no we're it's a growing company and this and that and then I just kept pushing it off I'm like I'm not interested and then uh we came back for Alan's wedding and went to um, the Irish Festival in Waterloo. Oh yeah! I was like, I was like, this is the greatest place on earth. Like this is better <laughs> than Disneyland. <laughs> we should move to Iowa. Uh. Yeah. Everybody talked me into coming to Iowa. Never, never invited me back during the winter. You know, they, they're like, oh, it's like this all the time. Just come on, come move back. And yeah. Oh well, yeah, we did. And then we <laughs> discover that there's winters and. So now, now then we just hibernate indoors for you know eight months of winter and yep <laughs> eight, eight months of winter. And I've made so many great friendships. I mean, I've got a picture of Derek sitting in my office that I mean I, I don't know how I ended up with that, but I mean yeah. you know we've made such great friendships throughout the years and it's yeah it's awesome. People that are with still with ClickSoft, people that are have worked at ClickSoft and now gone. I mean it's. It's it's fun. It's a great place. So 